When I think about the Earth, I think one of the seminal pictures for everybody on the planet was the one that was taken by NASA astronauts on their way to the moon, the blue marble picture. That was the snapshot. Now we have the video. NASA provides a unique perspective to the scientific community because it has satellites that, that can get that view from space, that big picture, and sometimes very great detail. Most of the people I talk to are surprised to learn that NASA is even studying the Earth. Some of the satellites do look down. Some of the data that we have is observing the Earth. And to view it from space can give you such a dramatic and unique perspective. The space-based perspective, looking at the Earth as a whole, really tells you so much about the planet that you can't learn in any other way. It's really about understanding the global habitat and the individual elements of it. A major part of understanding the Earth is having a view of it from space, and uh, NASA is the perfect agency to do that. The data sets that we have from all the different satellite sensors that have been put into space are very widely used uh, to study everything from hurricanes to winter storms, uh, atmospheric chemistry, African dust, you know, a number of things. And that simply would not be possible without NASA developing the technology to be able to do these types of things. Studying the Earth is like studying an organism. It's like studying us. We are a complex, nonlinear, quasi-chaotic system. The Earth is the same way. You know, all these systems are, are so intertwined with each other, biosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, cryosphere. And to see how all that fits together is the ultimate challenge. We all live on this planet, so it's important to uh, preserve uh, and maintain the beauty and the resources that are here on Earth. NASA's ability to look at the system, uh, the planet as a system, is important to everyone who lives on this planet, and satellites and NASA's perspective allow us to do that. NASA continues to learn about the planet. We're always on that edge of discovery, and we're writing new textbooks essentially every day with the kind of discoveries that we're making day in, day out. There's no other agency on the Earth that can do it any better than what NASA can do.